Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all doing okay. Welcome back to our Warlords Battle Cry 3 Iron Man 100% playthrough. I don't know why I was struggling to remember the last word in that. Anyway, let's take a look at the state of our hero. Last episode, we did some more. Uh, this is going to be a pretty consistent thing in most episodes when I have the time is I will be doing uh, some off-screen grinding to get our number of kills up. Other than that, we had a nice long battle against some barbarians playing as the Dark Elves. It wasn't a farming episode, it was more of a let's play properly, let's enjoy the game kind of episode. This episode is very much going to be a farming episode, because uh, what is the... Uh, what is the point of this episode? Well, the point of this episode is we're gonna try to fully max out all of these titles. We're gonna do uh, one way or another. It may take me a very long time. I may have to cut a lot of it out, but I want to get maximum rank on battles fought, battles won, and heroes killed. We're gonna start off well, we're, we're in the borderlands right now. We're gonna start off with just a warm-up joust, like I usually do. Then I'm gonna go and I'll do an off-screen kill grinding session. And uh, after that kill grinding is done, then we will Your troops do uh the thing that I said I would, which is uh, getting all of this other stuff done. Now, unfortunately, or no, not even unfortunately, I forgot to lower the game difficulty from uh, from uh, hard to normal, so the enemy heroes we just fought right now were higher level than they normally would have been. It, it didn't make that much of a difference in the end. So I'm not too worried about it. Woodland Banner, Iron Tower, and I think we already saw this stuff. Uh, nothing to... Where? Did I just not notice these guys? I guess they were just standing there and I didn't notice them. Anyway, that is our warm-up joust done. You are a warm-up joust which also gives us one more battle fought, one more battle won, and three more heroes killed. Bringing us slightly closer to whatever the final thing is. Um, now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into our kill grinding map. We're gonna do some off-screen kill grinding and uh, once again I'm gonna put it all together into one proper episode but for me personally I'm gonna be recording it in uh, two parts. I'm gonna start this map and you know I'll I'll leave it running but at some point actually in about a, a couple hours I will have to uh, go uh, have some plans with a friend of mine we're actually going to the theater we're gonna watch a play it's going to be fun, but I think we're also going to be doing uh, an early dinner after that. So potentially I'm going to be gone for like 3-4 hours at least. And uh, I was like, if I'm going to be gone that long, I do want to have a, uh, a kill grinding map running. Now. There are risks to just leaving a game running, especially when you're playing Iron Man. The chief risk being that somehow you, your hero will get killed or 
you'll have to react to something and because you weren't there and like your hero takes damage and dies. That shouldn't happen in, the, in this map. The only thing that could kill our hero is if they start destroying our towers. And then, you know, the... You know, like it's a domino, <coughs> domino effect. They destroy one tower, that makes our defenses weaker, it makes it them easier to destroy other towers. And then before you know it, all your towers are gone, and then it's just your hero, and then eventually they overwhelm your hero. Which is the nightmare scenario. Like, I had an actual nightmare about that last night, I'm not even joking. So, what I'm gonna do is... Last time I kept it at keep level 4, I'm gonna be even more cautious. And I'm gonna have it at maximum keep level 3, which will mean that they won't be able to produce their strong flying units and their strong cavalry units. And if it's only the weak units, the weaker units, then I think we should be fine and I think I should be good to just let this run for uh, for hours and hours without worrying. Right. So, remember, control D to destroy these towers, to give the enemy a way in, and then just start building our base as normal. And well, it looks like one of our enemies, at least, is summoning units. That's good, because it's going to give us some extra kills. Oh, and you're summoning as well. This is why I like it when they don't uh, lose their hero straight away. A ranger, that's great. A demon Slayer. That has somehow summoned a demon of his own. That seems a bit contradictory, but you know what? You do you, my man. You're a tanker whatever that's fine you are also summoning demons good for you and you are just a thief all right well it's gonna be a, an even more boring map than usual just because things are capped out at keep level three but you know what at least <coughs> excuse me at least i know it's gonna be safe completely safe for my hero and just to make it even safer I'm gonna put him on stand ground mode so that he doesn't accidentally wander outside of the map because that would be an absolute disaster it really would new buildings are available and I was wondering why our hero's armor is lower it's because we're not playing in the uh, in the campaign we're just playing in uh, a scenario so we don't have our campaign bonuses so normally our uh, armor would be at 80 87 instead of 77 the way it is right now so don't don't even worry about it but yes this map is just gonna go the same way all of the other grinding maps goes you're gonna skip it and in fact even I'm gonna skip most of it because I literally won't be at home and I think now is as good a time as any to put the recording on pause so I will see you once we are ready to end this map All right, guys see you in a bit all right once again, we are at the end, and once again, this has gone into the second day for me. I started it yesterday, which was a Saturday, which was the day that I went to uh, see uh, a play with a friend of mine, and then we went to get something to eat. So I was gone for like five hours, and the game was running. And I've got a, f I've got a few things actually to tell you, a few things that I learned when I got back. So previously when I had been doing off-screen farming I was doing other stuff but I was home while the farming was going on 
So every 10 minutes or so I'd check in, I'd, you know, I'd save and load the game, just to grease the wheels a little bit. This time when I got back, what I saw was that these two enemies, uh, the green one and the, uh, the, oh, the orange one, had completely exhausted their resources, but that these guys, the other three, had become completely stuck to the point where they weren't even sending regular units. What had happened was their armies had somehow gotten stuck, and they had completely hit their army limit to the point where they couldn't even send, you know, the small amounts of things that they send to attack us. And once I loaded the game, then it started chugging along properly. So the lesson is, yes, the strategy of just leaving the game running and going somewhere else and not being at the computer at all will work, but only to an extent. Because there's always the chance that the AI will glitch out and they get stuck. And the only way that I know to fix that is to just periodically save and load the game. Uh, was there anything else? Uh, well, the other thing is uh, this mission had a uh, maximum keep level of three. Um, and if you're wondering why I have these weird uh, units, it's because I was uh, summoning foreign mercenaries. Mainly just out of curiosity, I wanted to see the kinds of units that you can get. I don't really use this that much. You can see I have a Lich, got a couple of Gnolls, um, the Rune Lord, uh, Druid, a couple of uh, these Night Lords as well, Spider Priestess, and an Assassin. So, you know, that's the assortment of units that I got. But yes, I wonder if... Yeah, this guy's still casting spells, but I don't think he can summon anything. Oh, he is a summoner! But... I don't know, I think his summon spells have glitched out, because I don't see anything spawning into the map. Anyway, let's not worry about it too much. There are small number, numbers of units still on the map, but really it's a trivial amount. So let's just resign, and let's see what sort of numbers we get. 8700, okay. I'll accept that. It's less than the 9,000 we got last time, but I guess there's a bit of variation in this. So... Let's... Go into the campaign. And... Let's take a look at our titles. Oh, first of all, oh, we did get another rank for hitting 100... <coughs> excuse me. Hitting 100,000 enemies killed. We are now a demigod. And from now on, the titles will no longer refer to units in the game. The last one that kind of did that was Titan. And even that, you know, that wasn't a specific unit, right? Because before that, the Titans, oh sorry, the titles were referred to specific units, right? Like, uh, like Berserker or, uh, or, or Unicorn or Giant, things like that. But now we are truly in uh, the, the final stretch. Only five titles left to get. And if I've planned this out correctly, we will get three of them in this episode. Starting off with... Hang on. Let's bring it down to normal difficulty. Starting out with just jousting until we have our hero kills maxed out. So again, the way we farm for jousts is that you kill the heroes, then you resign the map. And uh, I'm not gonna get too sidetracked by trying to see what the items are. I'm certainly not gonna get sidetracked into trying and uh, fully winning the maps. There's a more efficient way to get winds farmed up and I do that by you know killing the uh, the griffins in that encounter yeah we're just gonna keep doing this until we hit 
700, and we'll see if that gives us the title that we are looking for. This is also going to farm up battles fought, because each time we enter a joust, it's going to be one more battle that we've fought. We're not winning them, obviously, but, you know, you can't have <clears throat> everything in one go. So, the way I see it is, two out of three isn't so bad. We're getting heroes killed, we're getting battles uh, fought, and uh, and then once we're fully done with this, then we can focus on battles one and only that until we hit the uh, the limit for that too. All right. What's uh, what's like? What's, what's this guy doing? Yep. And as soon as they die, you just resign, and you do it again. I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna check something. I'll check at 650. There's a small chance that maybe that's the threshold. Like, I wouldn't want to go all the way to 700 if I don't need to. Ranger, Ranger, Summoner. Obviously, the only thing to watch out for is if there's an Assassin hero. And because these are all uh, the same uh, faction, uh, these heroes, we don't have to worry about, you know, a, a knight, uh, sorry, a, a dark elf randomly spawning in. So at least there's that. The only thing we've got to worry about is uh, assassin heroes. And d during combat against the uh, warrior heroes, And to a lesser extent, you know, Paladin, Demon Slayer, the heroes that get combat bonuses, we do need to be a little bit careful uh, because we could take a bunch of critical hits pretty quickly. Okay, let's resign again and let's check. Is this the, uh, the threshold? Unlikely. Yeah, we're probably going to have to hit 700, which means 17 more jousts. Assuming we go through all 17 of them, n not having to resign any of them due to the uh, unfortunate presence of an assassin. And it's just it's just a matter of getting through it. Just get through it. And farming up battles fought as well as a as an added bonus. Alright. Alright. Dragon Slayer, Necromancer. We'll kill this one guy and then we'll resign. Uh, so that's our first assassin encounter. It was bound to happen eventually. We were, we were just doing too many battles for us to realistically hope that we'd get through all of them without seeing a single assassin. And see, this time the warrior is going to be the one to watch out for. So basically, when we're fighting the warrior, I'm going to have my finger hovering over the pause key. And if we were to take a bunch of damage pretty quickly, then I would 
decide, okay, should I heal and keep fighting? Should I just resign? But... By and large, I think our combat stats are good enough that we can uh, get through most combats without really having to worry. Alright. And I'm sure in... You know... In the large amounts of loot that we're dropping and not looking at, there are bound to be some really cool items that we're leaving behind. But, like I said, the point of this isn't to farm for loot. As tempting as it is, we've got to exercise a discipline. We have got to stick to the one thing that is our objective for this episode. Your troops are under attack. And that is, of course, to get these titles maxed out. We also have to worry a little bit about the spell damage that heroes can inflict, but I don't think spell damage... Like, I don't think there's su such a thing as cr critical spell damage in this game. I think spells just do a set amount, and obviously some spells are deadlier than others, but m most of them won't kill you. The one thing that can kill you is if there are a bunch of spellcasters and it, they don't have to be heroes, they could just be regular enemy spellcasters like goblin shamans and then they all hit you with their spell at once which has uh, happened to my hero a couple times I think in this series and previously when I played this game ages ago I did lose Iron Man heroes to that Like, you know, like I got used to fighting regular enemies that don't have spells, and then I just, without realizing it, wandered into a large group of goblin shamans, and then they all hit me with their lightning, and then I got killed. But fortunately, we don't have to worry about that in these jests. I don't even know how many of them we've done. We'll, we will check. We will check. Warrior... Chieftain Sage seems straightforward. Occasionally, we're getting a look at some of these items, but most of them we're just going to be leaving behind without even, without even bothering to look. How far have we gotten? 669. Alright, we're getting there. Getting there. Getting there. Alright. Your troops are under the enemy hero has been destroyed. And I guess the other thing we're getting out of these is we're killing units. Even heroes, I do believe, count as uh, units killed. I think so, anyway. I mean, not that it really matters when you need hundreds of thousands. It doesn't matter whether the... Because, like, we've killed 600 heroes. It doesn't matter whether all... I mean, 700... 700 by the end of it. It doesn't matter if they would all count as a unit kill, because... Like, what's 700 here and there when you need hundreds of thousands? We could lose all of those kills, and uh, it wouldn't really matter that much. But I do think... Heroes count as uh, units killed as well. I think we've killed all of them. Alright, let's keep going. And again, like, we're 
not winning these jousts, so we're, we are basically spending crowns and then not getting anything back. But we've got enough crowns that we don't really need to worry about it. I think this is really the only useful thing to spend our crowns on. Okay, I think we're done. So, again, design. And let's see how far we've gotten. Uh, uh, eight more. Eight more. And I'm hoping this is going to be the end, because if it isn't, then I will be... Uh, well, then I'll have to figure out how I'm going to do the rest of it. I'll have to do it off-screen. Okay. Come on, guys. I hate it when they run away from you and they are exactly as fast as you are, or faster, because then you've got to wait until they get to where they're going, and then only when they stop can you kill them, but I guess that's uh, just something we're gonna have to deal with. Pyro Death Knight Merchant. Your troops are under attack. An enemy hero has been I guess one thing I could do to speed it up is literally speed it up, but because we are taking small amounts of damage, I don't want to take that risk, especially fighting enemy heroes. I don't, because the faster the game is going, the quicker you can get a bunch of cr critical hits landed against you, and the harder it is going to be to... Oh my god. The harder it's going to be, God. The harder it's going to be to respond. All right. He's dead. That was a weird spell that like I cast, and I also hate getting stuck behind enemy units. Because the pathfinding in this game is. Uh, not well implemented. Troops will frequently, when you give them an order to do something, just get stuck, even when there is obviously a thing that they could do to get unstuck, but you know what? It's an old game. You've just gotta... You've just got to accept it and all its Your shortcomings. Yeah, that's the price you pay. <clears throat> Alright. Come on. He's dead, and... And he's dead. And we are gonna leave, and... How much more do we need? Hopefully, just four more. Hopefully, just four more. The reason I pause at the beginning of the game is because I want to give these orders while I know exactly where the heroes are standing, because once they start moving, it's very hard to see where the uh, enemy heroes are. And even if you can see where they are, it's very hard to pick them out, because it turns out, like, targeting individual units in a crowd of units is very hard in this game because if there's a large unit and these uh, cavalry units are pretty big they will like dominate the uh, the screen in terms of if you try to target something it'll be very hard to target a small unit that's surrounded by a bunch of large units going. I think we need, what, two more after this? Alright. Resign there again. 
And let's check. Yep, two more. Let's do this joust. Okay, you, you, and you. Oh, I, I didn't even see who the uh, enemy heroes were this time, but none of them were assassins. I was just quickly glancing through their names. My heuristic is if their name doesn't begin, sorry, if the name of their class doesn't begin with an A, then I just immediately, uh, you know, proceed with the next step. If it does begin with an A, then I read the rest of it, because it could be an assassin, but it could also be an alchemist. Or an archmage, I think. Those are the, uh, the three hero specialties that begin with an A. There might be something that I'm missing, but yeah, that's my little, uh, little procedure. All right. You're dead, you're dead, and we are out of here. Is this gonna be... Oop. Is this gonna be it? Are you... serious? <sighs> okay. It might, it might be 750. Let's not, let's not panic. So what I'm gonna do now is... I'm gonna oof, I'm gonna skip ahead to when we're at 750. All right, I'll I'll see you when we are there. Okay, we're not quite close to uh, 750 yet. However, the next battle we fight will take us to 450, and that's probably not gonna be the number. But just in case it is, I wanted to show this one in the recording. And then we can see uh, whether it is indeed, or whether it isn't, the final battle we need to max out battles fought. My suspicion is that we'll need to go to at least 500, and possibly even more. You see we're taking little bits of damage on our hero, this is why I'm not raising the game speed. Because uh, it would just make things too stressful. Alright. Is that it? Of course not. Of course it isn't, but you know what? I had to check. So alright, I'll be back when we are about to hit 750. Right? See you guys in a bit. Alright. 749 heroes killed. Is this gonna be the magic number. If it isn't, if we have to go to 800, I will go to 800, but you know what? I'm not gonna be happy about it. Let's hope. Let's hope this is <laughs> all that we need. Rage, something's ki killed. Nope, the sound effects are just glitched for other reasons. And I don't think, it, like, the announcer is even telling us about the heroes that we've killed. But this game is seemingly getting quite glitched indeed. But the bigger question is, do we have... Oh my god, we don't! Well, I guess... I guess I am going to 800, aren't I? Alright. I will see you guys in a bit. Alright. A couple things. First of all, yes, we are at 799, but also I included this in the video. I nearly got my hero killed. And, uh, that, I mean, just goes to show that even if you're not fighting assassins, 
you can still get taken down very quickly if you get some unlucky critical hits against you, even with a combat of 110. Even with a combat of 110. Alright. Hopefully this is it, because the sooner we are done... The sooner we are done with this, the sooner I can just permanently be done with having to fight enemy heroes. Is Was that the last of it? Please tell me that's the end. I did a whole 100 more than what I was expecting, and finally, that is indeed the end. <laughs> Grand Master Assassin, we are a minor god now. A demigod and now a minor god. So we are just... These titles are getting more and more <laughs> intense as we go along and there are only four of them left. Two of them, which we are gonna get in this very episode. And uh, what I'm gonna do is, now I am going to start farming for battles one and the way to do that or the way that I do that is uh, by fighting the griffins I think this is where we get griffins right this is where we get the griffin encounter so what we will do is we will uh, we're just gonna be doing a whole bunch of this what I'm gonna do though is uh, it's gonna take a long time, but it is so much less stressful than, uh... Um, it's so much less stressful than... Uh, you know, farming for hero kills. Because there is zero chance of the griffins killing us. Because at most, one or two of them are even going to be able to land a hit, much less hope to land enough critical hits to kill us outright. One thing I'm going to check, though, is uh, if I turn the sound effects off, I think that's going to speed things up. Because when we kill the last griffin, instead of going through that slow applause, it's going to immediately give us the victory screen. Yes, that's what I wanted to show you. So what I'm going to do now is now we are going to skip ahead again. Except that... Where am I going? Except this time, I'm going to skip ahead to when we are uh, about to get 500 battle spot. And we're going to see if that gives us a new rank. So I will see you guys uh, when that happens. All right, 499. Is the next one gonna be the one? I mean, I hope so. But we are I mean, there's only one way to find out, and that is, well, we are all going to find out in just a couple seconds, when this ends. Is this going to be it? No. Okay, well... I don't know how far we're gonna have to go. It could be 550, it could be 600. I don't know how far we're gonna have to go for this. Because if this is really far, this could be really far too. But obviously I'm gonna skip most of it for you. I'm only gonna be checking back in on increments of 50. So I'll, uh, when we're about to get 350 battles won, I'll, I'll check in with you, when we're about to get 550 battles fought, I'll check in for that, and then, you know, we'll, uh, we'll take it 
one step at a time. But yes, skipping ahead to when we're about to get 350 of this. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so... Seeing as... See, well, this is already a hint as to what I've done. But seeing as... We can't say for sure when this is gonna end. It could be 600. It could be 700 for battles 1. It could be 500. It could be 600. I went ahead and created a uh, custom map. And before I tell you about, you know, the custom map, let me show you why we have this issue in the first place. So, my main method for grinding battles fought, well, battles won, is this uh, mission. Now, it's relatively easy to uh, to do, right? It doesn't take that much time, but it does take a bit of time. And it takes time once you're in the mission, but sometimes it can take time to get the mission as well. I guess this time we're getting lucky in that it happened a couple times in a row, but sometimes you can be going back and forth between, you know, Bartonia and the Borderlands for an uncomfortably long time before you get the mission. And obviously, now that I'm trying to show it to you, the game is a... Uh, you see, this time we had a... Uh, this time we had one... instance where it uh, it didn't happen. I mean, like, now that I'm... trying to justify my actions, the game, once again, seems to be very cheekily... not cooperating in okay see this time this time look at how many times we've gone back and forth just waiting to get into this mission and then finally we did get our mission so finally the game at long last has shown the thing that I was actually trying to show so now you've kind of seen that okay if we're potentially going to be doing this a couple hundred times, maybe we need something better. And indeed, we do have something better. Uh, first of all, let me just take a quick look at what we are at. 332, 504. So, let me go to the skirmish menu. Let me first show you the map. And then I'll go into the uh, editor. Actually, hang on. There's one thing I want to do about my hero is I'm going to unfreeze my hero level. And I'm going to select my hero. It's going to... There's a reason I'm doing this. Um, I believe unfreezing my hero level should get rid of the save game that I have. And I don't know if you necessarily need to do this in the campaign. I think it would be fine in the, uh, uh, you know, in a skirmish as well. And now it says a save game has become invalid and has been deleted. Now, if I exit, if I go into skirmish, it's gonna stop bothering me about this whole uh, save game being uh, invalid business because this is gonna be important because the rest of our farming is going to be in the skirmishes, and then we don't want an extra thing to click on. Like, if we're going to be doing this hundreds of times, potentially. So now let's go into skirmish, and let's look at this cute little map, which I've titled A Quick Win. And believe it or not, the name of the map is actually important. Specifically, the fact that it appears... Uh, 
above all of the other maps in alphabetical order. Random map is scripted to be on the top, so it won't be at the very top, but it'll be close enough to the top that we can access it quickly. And as you can see, it's pre-populated as uh, the human player in uh, uh, the human player as side one. The AI, uh, it doesn't matter who the AI is, uh, as side two, and the rest of the rules don't really even matter because as soon as we enter this map, as soon as we enter, we win. Now, why do we win? We can see that there is a, uh, a hero who I've just, to be on the safe side, blocked off with walls. And there's our hero here. There's nothing else on this map. So, why do we win? And what I'm going to do is I am going to actually freeze my hero level once again. Because I don't want to level up. And let's go into the editor and let's take a look at what's going on in this map. So... Um, if I go to events... Okay, so there is one event in this map. Simply titled Victory. Now what are events? Events are things that you largely see in the campaign. You know, things like, oh, if you go to this point, you'll get resources. If you walk over here, you'll get, you know, units uh, joining you. If you go over here, you'll get some scripted messages. Or if, or like, if time, if enough time passes, you'll get a scripted message. Things like that. I have a specific event, and what the event is... Well, you know, the name gives it away. It's an event which triggers immediate victory. And if I modify it, you'll see effect one is uh, victory, obviously to win. And just to be on the safe side, I specifically made side one the owner. And then the condition... Well, let's cycle through the list of conditions. You can move, this is the typical uh, event, move a unit to a certain point, and then something happens. You can move the hero to a certain point, you, we've seen that in the campaign as well. Building a certain building, producing a certain unit, killing a unit, killing some specific person's unit, getting an item, destroying a building, destroying someone else's, like, some specific side's building. Defeat by loss of character. Uh, select units? I'm not sure what that means. Like, literally, maybe it means literally as soon as you select a specific kind of unit, something's gonna happen. Or, uh, like, a specific unit somewhere on the map. Or selecting a certain building. I, I guess it must be similar. Conversion started. Okay, converting a specific kind of building. Once you either start or once you finish converting, something's gonna happen. Skill learned from, uh, I guess, one of these buildings? Because uh, some of these buildings will have skills, uh, like uh, research that you can do. That must mean... I assume that's what it means. Then there's victory conditions as resources, move a character, the button press. This is an interesting one. I, I, and I should add that it doesn't specifically have to be victory. There are other types of events. It's just that I've chosen the one that ends the game giving you victory. Right? It w otherwise, it would be weird if you just won the game by pressing V. Right, that would be. That would be weird. Side defeated. This is a, you know, straightforward one, and counter. I think this is gonna be like a, maybe a kill kill counter or some sort of counter. A dead hero, and then this is the one I picked. No condition brackets timer. 
I, I don't know specifically what this means, but I left it as is. And I think what the game is interpreting it as is uh, like a zero second timer. That a timer that's over as soon as the match begins and it triggers the thing that, uh, it triggers the event that it's tied to. In this case, the event being victory. All right, now I've explained all of this. I don't want to make any changes to this, so I'm not going to save anything. And what we're going to do is, we're going to, first of all, delete DSF, SFDF. Uh, you, uh, you know, did a good job, but uh, we no longer need your services. We're going to go ahead, go with cause. It's great to not have to worry about that, uh, uh, you know, that pop-up telling us about the saved game. We're just going to do this. And... We're just going to keep doing this until... Well, I mean, I'm not going to show all of it on screen, but I'm just doing this to convince you that this is quicker than the other method. Like, we just instantly win. Yes, it is a little slow having to click through these multiple screens, but we were clicking uh, in the campaign as well, and at least we know that it's going to take a short amount of time. And even with all the clicking, it is ultimately a lot quicker than uh, the whole thing of having to wait for well, first, getting the event, which might not happen right away. Then, you know, spending about 10, 15, 20 seconds killing those griffins. So, yeah, this is definitely a much quicker way of doing this. Again, it is by no means an honorable way of doing it. In fact, it is downright dishonorable, but... Again, technically doesn't, like, I don't think you can uh, say that it's cheating, because this is, I, all I'm doing is I'm using the tools that the game comes with, right? I'm not modifying, like, I haven't even installed the unofficial patch. This is just the game in its purest base state, and I'm just using what the game has given me, and playing it in a somewhat unorthodox way, right? So, yeah. Definitely not cheating. But definitely still grinding. <laughs> that, I think, is uh, undeniable. What we're gonna do is, we're just gonna go until we hit 350. Uh, battles 1 which is, I highly doubt whether it's going to be enough to give us uh, the uh, the final title. In, you know, in which case I'll just do the rest of this off screen. But if it does end up being enough, well, hey, then that's just an extra bonus. That is just an extra bonus. So, just got to do this. I think. Uh, six or seven more times let's just go full force by the way it took uh, about 10 minutes to uh, make this map like the total time I spent making the map and testing it was about 10 minutes so it's debatable whether it'll end up saving me time? I think it probably will, because I think the uh, griffin thing, it did take enough time that if you multiply it by a hundred, like even, I'm pretty sure we're saving at least six seconds here 
if not more, on average, compared to the uh, the Griffin uh, map, because you know there's the time spent waiting for uh, the encounter to happen in the first place, and even if the encounter happens right away, then there's the time spent killing the 14 griffins that spawn on the map. So it uh, is definitely gonna save us some time. The only way we might not save time is if we hit 350 and then have to stop. In which case it probably would have been quicker for me to just keep doing the griffin thing. But we're gonna see uh, just now. Well, fuck. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> well, I still don't regret it, right? If nothing else, you've seen... Uh, if nothing else, now you have a way of doing it yourself. And, uh, you, like... You don't have to spend time farming griffins. You can just use the method <laughs> that I introduced. If you so choose. So what I'm gonna do now is, uh... I'm gonna skip ahead to 550 and then to 600 to see if that's gonna be enough to cap out battles fought. All right, guys, see you in a bit. All right, guys, I'm back just to... Oh, God damn it! I was gonna say just because I realized we uh, that that we don't need to stay on that map to do this grinding. Alright, we just need... Right, all we needed, right, was we need to go inside a map and then immediately end it without have to, having to worry about screens, uh, like extra screens to click on. I think the quickest way is gonna be just picking a random map. No extra points. And then resigning. Is this quicker? Let's actually do a comparison. Let me, uh... Let's do this scientifically. I'm gonna get my stopwatch and I'm gonna do the joust because I think it's the quickest one, like, it doesn't prompt us about, uh, you know, retinue points or anything like that. So, let's just do the joust. Like, we are paying for jousts, though, so... You know what, let's, let's just do it. Like, what else are we gonna spend our crowns on? And then immediately resign. And then we go through this screen. I think the fact that... And I forgot to start my stopwatch. I forgot to start my stopwatch. So this screen takes a while. Then this happens, and then we resign. The fact that we have to make an extra click to end the map is uh, slowing it down a little bit. Okay, we're not gonna necessarily use my stopwatch just because I don't want to look at two different screens. We'll just let our intuition guide us. Okay. This is definitely quicker than having to click. It's definitely quicker than having to click. The, like, the only clicking we're having to do is to select this, but then again, we're having to click to select the battle and the campaign anyway. So, this, I think, is gonna be the way to do it. How far are we? 19? Sh 
Should we just go to 550? Let's just go to 550. Let's go to 550 on screen and maybe that's gonna turn out to be the magic number. Maybe it'll turn out that we need 600. Either way, I wanna get to at least this point on screen. On, on recording, on camera, whatever phrase you like to use. And as a bonus, we're getting, even though we don't need them anymore, extra battles won. So we need 17 more. I think this battle is loading as quickly as the joust was. So, we are uh, at least not losing time on that. Alright, let's, let's... Let's do this. Let's get this done. The, I, this is the, probably the... Out of all the grinding I've had to do in this series, this is probably the weirdest thing out of all of them. Just oh, 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 just the weirdness of the map itself and how it's working and the fact that I'm doing it at all. It's, uh, you know what? How far are we? 13 more? We're getting there. We're getting there. All right. And once this is done, it'll be done for good. We'll never have to worry about that title ever again. Yep, oh, excuse me. Let's keep going. Not really a lot that I, I can say in the commentary right now, because I'm just, I'm just waiting, and in my mind I'm ready to be done, but I don't want to get my hopes up too high, because that it's happened to me before. I'm like, surely, surely it's gonna end now, and then it turns out it takes another hundred. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, eight more. This is going slower than I. I mean, quicker than in the campaign. But it's like, and the closer we get, the slower it seems to go. I I shouldn't check every single time, right? I should uh, exercise some discipline. Go. Let's go. And now I'm starting to lose count. I don't know how many we've done. We need five more. Which might be the end, but might not. Honestly, I'd say it's 50 50. I. At the start of this, uh, you know, separate mini grinding session on this map, at the start of it, I would have thought it would be at least 600 for sure. But then when Battles 1 capped out at 350, I was like, oh, okay, maybe, maybe there is hope. Maybe there is hope. But you know what? I've been, I've been burned before, so I'm not... Like I said, I'm trying not to let my hopes 
get up too much. I've been let down too many times. And I think we need two more. So I think the next one is going to be the last one. I think. God, what a weird video this is going to be. But you know what? It You cannot deny that it's getting the job done. Yep. Next one is going to be 550. Is that going to be the end? Probably not. Probably not. I know I said it's 50-50, but um, I have a feeling it's going to make us go to 600. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Alright, so I, <laughs> I will see you when we are about to hit 600. Alright, guys. See you in a bit. All right. 599. Let's go. Is this going to be it? Is this going to be it? We've won. Let's jump in. And take a look. We fucking did it. Let's go. Overall ranking 78. We are a god, but somehow we can improve upon even this, which you would think would be the pinnacle. Surely there can't be anything above god, but evidently there is. I kind of know what it is, but uh, if you don't know, I'll, uh, I'll I'll build up the suspense a little bit. It's nothing that earth-shattering, but it just. Like, there are a couple extra, there obviously are a couple extra ranks for us to get, but yes. Importantly, we've ranked up everything, and let's actually take a look at the ranks that we got. We gained one rank for enemies killed from the uh, off-screen farming that I did. We are now a slayer, but more importantly, we are max rank in the top three for battles fought. We hit the max rank, which is a legendary warlord for battles won. We hit the max rank, which is a grand emperor for heroes killed. We hit the max rank, which is a grand master assassin. And let's let's go through the rest of the ranks as well, because I haven't talked about them in a while. I don't even remember when we hit max rank. It's a lot lower than uh, this. It's, I think, even less than 500. But for reaching that, we are now a Dragon Slayer, for Dragons Killed, obviously. For Titans Killed, I believe we hit that at 150. We are Slayer of Gods, definitely the coolest sounding out of all of these individual titles. For Quests Completed, I think it was 700 that earned us uh, the title Keeper of the Grail. And for Spells Cast, I believe 4,000 made us an elder of the mages council now the only thing left is uh um hero skilled and let me talk about how i'm gonna approach hero skilled from here on in from here on oh, from here onwards from here on in i i guess we'll say it like that so the way i'll do it is uh, i'll uh be doing campaign based episodes from now on so there's there's a few things we need to do realms of death realms of plague realms of famine they will each have a mission for us in addition to that there's another set of things that we need to do the one-off missions for uh, getting the uh, thiatus set i think there are three of them And I, I'll treat them as, like, I'll have one separate episode for each of these campaign missions. And I'll try to do all of these in one episode as well. And the way I'll do it is... At the start of each of these episodes, I will reveal to you the amount of off-screen kill farming that I've been doing. For now, I've, like, I've just been doing, like, one battle at a time. But now that I am 
completely maxed out on battles fought and heroes killed, I don't have to worry about accidentally gaining these ranks while I'm farming off screen, right? So I'll gain more of these while I'm doing my farming, but I, like, we've already hit the maximum. You, you've seen what it is, there's nothing more to be seen. What I will be doing is I'll be accumulating a lot of kills, and probably when we're about to hit another 50,000, let's say, when we're about to hit 150k, I will, at that point, stop my farming and I'll bring it into, you know, a recording and then we'll do a regular episode and then we'll see, like, you know, did 150k do anything for us? No? Okay, then let's do a regular episode, then the next one will be at 200k, then 250, 300, and so on, until we hit whatever the final number is, which I think is 400k, but it might be more than that. And if what I've just described seems a bit confusing to you, I think it'll make more sense at the start of the next episode. Because I'm, I'm not sure if I'm... Like, if, like, it's a bit of a... Like, it's not that complicated, but it's a convoluted thing just to try and explain. So at the start of next episode, I think it'll be a pretty good demonstration of what I will be doing in between episodes, just to help the farming process go a little bit further. For now, though, it is time to draw this episode to a close. Like I said, it's been a uh, grindy one, but ultimately a successful one. We maxed out everything except for enemies killed, and for enemies killed, I'm gonna be pushing that farming into overdrive in between episodes as well. So we are gonna hopefully finish this entire game in a reasonable amount of time. But anyway, that is gonna be all for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it, as weird as it was. Hope you had a good time, and I hope You'll join me for the next episode as well. And until then, take care.